Hi guys, welcome back to Simplistic Mystic. My hair looks like a disaster. And I think I'm wearing the same shirt I was last time. I mean, it's been like another, I don't know, week or two. I don't even know when the last time I did a video was. But anyways, um, let's figure out what's going on today. Hi, cat. What's going on with the collective for today? What do we need to know? Pentacles. Good first card. Ace of Cups. That feels like your abundance is here. The Ten of Pentacles is here. A new beginning in love with someone, someone new. Page of Wands. Okay, so New beginning with someone that's going to be the Ten of Pentacles. And it might be communication with this person soon. They'd be waiting for it. Or someone may be deciding whether or not they want to communicate. But um, this feels like very much like a new beginning with someone. A fresh, a fresh new love on the bottom of the deck. A fresh connection. <laughs> my love oracle zach they're available on amazon and etsy links are below or my website what do we got going on Stay with collective player okay change okay you may be, you might have been in a pattern of dealing with manipulative people, player energy, people, people that were testing you, narcissistic type of people, whatever, right? Ex lover just slipped. That's your past, right? But we got change. So this new thing that's coming in is nothing like any of that, right? This is this is the ten of pentacles. This is something you want. Divine intervention. You may meet this person in a serendipitous way or um, basically it's like the universe is pushing for this, this, okay? You may have recently kind of completed some sort of karmic cycles or karmic tests and that's why this can come in now. Very soon. Better decide what you want so that it comes to now. And stay optimistic, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So have faith, be positive here that something new is coming in for you okay release your ex so there's a big message of and I, this may be a particular person but i'm feeling more of this in terms of a cycle or a, an energy that you kind of kept encountering same type of you know same same thing different people right um this is getting rid of anything from the past and this is something completely new attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully so it's like we're releasing old patterns we're releasing any really releasing people but we're also releasing patterns and types of people that we attracted we're attracting someone in that's this ten of pentacles that's this new beginning in love that's going to be acting in a manner that um a lover should basically um speaking of negative energies <laughs> my new sage spray is available on my usual platforms and it's all linked below if you're interested in that it's called please leave okay um anyways i should really open a brand new love oracle deck for myself because i'm using still using like the first generation one but no i give them to everyone else anyways um what was i doing <laughs> why are these backwards Oh, okay. All right. For some reason, I want to grab this Akashic Tarot. This is something that is basically, I wanna, when I was grabbing this, I thought written in the stars. Like with the Divine Intervention card here, it's like this was supposed to happen. This is 
was what you were supposed to have, right? Um, this was already written, but it couldn't come in until you learned your karmic lessons, right? I'm going to read these in a moment, but let me just pull a few of them. Okay. What was there before? Why is it so empty? Why am I so psychotic sometimes? I need everything in order. I don't know what was there. Anyways, um... The Six of Scrolls, I don't know why I just said that so aggressively, um, hold on, Scrolls, the Sands of Time, the sun has begun to set low on the western horizon, but it's still visible through the window of the beautiful castle room, a man is focused with concern on a large hourglass that has almost run out, he rolls his sleeves up to get ready for work, this card shows in some matter of importance, time is of the essence. This could be an opportunity that you don't want to miss. It may be a project situation or personal connection that requires action or even completion. You may have had some delays, but you have been highly active and industrious for some time. Either way, keep going. So it's like, don't pass up this opportunity. Don't go back to the karmic cycles and miss what's in front of you. It's like, it's being orchestrated in a certain way, so it's here now. Um, don't miss it. Um... There we got the Ark of the Covenant. A legal contract or a title transfer. Most often this is the case that you're, you are living true to your own karmic contract, facing your lessons of growth, working toward greater discoveries and bringing your own unique contribu contributions to the world. Your karma does not rule you, you rule it. When you work to become too great, taking a rest doesn't break you. With your covenant, it supports that you understand the phases of time and energy and you work. So this is talking about, like what I was talking about, karmic energy, karmic cycles. And to, uh, involving other people. Because. Uh, but that's exactly what I was saying. And then there is a time crunch because it's like. It's almost like. The train's coming by right now for you to get into this new relationship, right? But if you backtrack at all, um, you're going to miss the train, okay? So now is not the time to backtrack into old cycles and patterns, okay? Because the train's approaching, coming here now. It's like, it's time to take action towards this new thing, to accept this new thing. Because if you go back, this opportunity will already be that way and on to something else. On Because that person has done their, learned their lessons. They're ready, right? So if you don't want to hop on the train with them, then they're gone, right? They're on to something else. So Okay, the Hilarum. I've never pulled this card. Seen here with Spirit. An influence of study and specific or scientific discovery. Halara is a powerful ascendant master and a wonderful connection to the front of the information that the Akashic records hold. He is the master of research, science, truth, healing, logical mind, concrete knowledge, and spirit communication. So if you've been thinking about pursuing any endeavors in this area, now is the time to start. Blah, blah, blah. Receiving this card upright is telling you that his assistance is close at hand. If you're working on a project that requires research, a strong academic approach, and attention to detail, it's full steam ahead. So this could be about, like, jobs including mediumship, scientific research, forensic activity, law, medical, testing, and more. There's something about a soul's purpose as well here, too. It's like, you're, you also need to kind of work on what you're meant to work on, and that also will kind of attract in this new person here focusing on your soul's purpose okay sorry this is like a novel reading session i don't know this book very well the treasure this card represents great loss or disappointment in your life right now 
This could be loss of a job, a relationship, or even opportunity. But remember that this phase is temporary. It might take some time to, and effort to rally your forces to recover, but there is a great treasure when you, in you that is always available. So, that to me feels like whatever you're getting rid of, whatever you're losing, whatever past person or cycle that you're leaving behind, it's like we're mourning that. We're getting rid of that in order to bring in this new stuff that's coming in. Okay. Um, I don't want to make this video very long because it's pretty straight to the point here. Um, right. any final messages here? <laughs> this is so perfect. Don't let your past hold you back, okay? So that's exactly what we're saying here. It's like, even if you're not particularly holding onto a person, you could be holding onto the old wounds, right? So you might not want to step forward into this new relationship because you're like, well, what if it ends up the way the other thing ended up, right? It's not going to, okay? This is the Ten of Pentacles. It's the first card that came out. It was 11-11 when I just said that. Um, don't let the past hold you back. You have to release the past, release the old cycles, release the old wounds, fears, hurt heartbreak whatever it is right because there's something new here for you there's something new that's going to be a very good okay um hold on. a win-win outcome is in the forecast so positive things are coming your way here The answers you need are coming, okay? So if you're trying to, if you have a question about something that's going on in your life, those answers will come to you. And adjustments are required. So that may be what you need to know, is you're like, well, how do I finally release these karmic cycles? You know, that answer may come to you soon. Um, and then that's what will in turn bring in whatever this new situation is. So anyways, hopefully this was helpful. I think that's gonna be all, cause that was a very straightforward reading. And um, I will see you guys next time. All my links are below. Bye.